Hey World Changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. These videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need help with a specific skill, at the end of this video I will point you in the direction of where you can access tons of videos to help make math fun, make it click, and and make it stick. The focus for this week is drum roll. Matching item. Let's not waste any more time. No, no, let's get to it. Hey, let me teach you. All right, third grade, here is your problem for this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Then come on back to check your work. All right, third grade, welcome back. So this one says to determine the rule of each pattern. So we have patterns in this matching item table. The rules are right here to add four, subtract 12, multiply by two, or divide by two. So let's start with the first one. We've got 48, 36, 24, and 12. Are those values increasing going up or are they decreasing going down? they're decreasing, right? That means that we are not adding or multiplying for this one. We're either subtracting or dividing. I'm gonna go ahead and try subtraction first to see if that works. 48 to get to 36. That means that we need to subtract what? 12, right? 48 minus 12 equals 36. Okay, let's see if that pattern repeats. 36 minus 12, does that equal 24? Yes, it does. Let's check it one more time. 24 with the rule of minus 12, does that equal 12? It does. So this one is subtract 12. So if you were taking the computer-based test, you would scan over until you matched with the answer that you want right there. And you would click on subtract 12. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. We have two, six, 10 and 14. Are we increasing in value or decreasing? We're increasing this time, which means that we are either adding or multiplying. Let's try addition first to see if that works. So from two, two plus what equals six? Plus four, right? Six plus four, does that equal 10? That works out. How about 10 plus four? Does that equal 14? It does. So the rule for this pattern is to add four. Awesome, so let's find that one. If we scan over, add four, that lines up with that one right there. So we would go ahead and mark that answer choice or click it on your computer-based test. So for the next one, we have 24, 12, and six. Those are the values in the pattern. Are those numbers increasing or decreasing? They're decreasing, right? That means that we are either subtracting or dividing, but we've already used which operation? We've already used subtraction right there. So let's go ahead and try divided by two and see if that one matches up. So 24, divided by two, does that equal 12? It does, because 12 times two equals 24, so the inverse of that would be 24 divided by two equals 12. Let's see if that pattern continues. 12 divided by two, does that equal six? Yes, so for this one, it is true that it is divided by two, so we'll scan over until we reach the divided by two column and mark that right there. And the only one that hasn't been marked yet is multiply by two. So let's check that one and see if that rule works. Just because sometimes with matching item, you already have answer choices that you can play with. So it gives you a little bit of a clue as to where to start, right? Okay, so let's try multiply by two. 2 going to 4, so 2 times 2, is that 4? It is. Let's try 4 times 2. 4 times 2, does that equal 8? Yes. One more time, 8 times 2. 8 times 2, is that 16? 
It is, so we can go ahead and mark multiply by two. Scanning over to this column right here, and we will select multiply by two for that one. So it's about matching your row with the correct column that you want to be in. And notice here how I marked up on this problem. I really worked it out. I didn't just sit there and try to do everything in my head. I was showing my journey on paper. And when you're taking that computer-based test, you're, it's going to be on the computer, but you can record that information onto your work paper. For this though, go ahead and make sure that you've copied everything down and then let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're Good. it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to dedicate time, intentional time, to practice. And that means throwing down your very best effort every time so you can learn and grow. You know that I believe in you and I will see you next time, world changers.